All right. Um, oh, are we starting? We're starting. Oh, no, Bob, your mic is fucked up. Why is that fucked up? Our man? lovely um, audio engineer, Noriko, is fixing Bob's shit. He's red her name with that paper. I do not. Uh, roll the footage. When they just read her name, when they went, our uh, our amazing Noriko audio engineer. Okabe. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. You read it. You just read it. No, I did not. The footage says different. The um, footage is this. My name is Bob the Drag Queen. And I'm annoyed with this bitch. And this is <laughs> annoyed Sibling with this bitch. Rivalry. Oh um, so you're just not going to do our intro now? Wait, I need to, I'm not ready. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, it's going to be one of those intros, Mitch. Uh, my name is Bob the Drag Queen. And I'm Monet Exchange. And, and this, this is Sibling, Sibling Rivalry. Let's do a sports sando. I am a lot. Do you know what a sports sando is? Yes. How, 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 how do it. Demonstrate. A sports sando is when you do it like, and then I, and then. You just said, you literally mumbled it. I said, that's what a sports sando is. It's like, and then I, and then. A sports sando is like, that's a sports sando. Am I right or am I wrong? Is that a sports sando or not? I didn't say it was a good one, but it's one. More or less, yeah, you're So let's do, right. let's do this is slipping rivalry as a sports sando. Okay. You ready? My name is Bob the Drag Queen. And I'm Monet Exchange. And, and this, this is Sibling Rivalry. Oh my gosh, she knows one musical time. Now let's do a Dacre Shindo. Okay. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's a diminuendo, it's not a Dacre Shindo. Well, what is a Dacre Shindo then? You knew what I was talking about? It's 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 really too long to even go into it. And you didn't go to school for music, so you won't get it. And you didn't go to school for what I went to school for. What did you go to school for? I went to school for theater education. Okay, we the theater education is part of the it's part, of, it's, part of, it's part of the music education curriculum. Theater education, okay, theater, but not theater education. Theater, theater. education is actually an education program that teaches you to be a teacher. No, first of all. Oh, so you now you know what theater education is, even though you didn't go to school for it. <laughs> so y'all have y'all have a theater education course. Yes, you do they a teach whole you to be a course. high school drama teacher. Yes. Okay, so okay, if what you don't know is what is that when you do music ed, music ed teachers oftentimes see, teach instrument, they teach vocal music, they teach drama, and they teach art. All of that comes into music education. Theater education isn't even the same thing as a theater degree. It's too de- it's not acting. But it's, okay, we don't do education a, is a very you specific do a thing. semester in Also there's no education. class called theater education. That is there's a class called th- girl, yes. No, you're talking about an education class on theater where you're being no, educated. No, on no, no, no. There was literally a theater education Course, well, also course. theater education is when you're taking theater courses and education courses. It's not the theater education course. Well, I course. took a theater education course where we learned um, about how to teach theater to fucking elementary school kids. Well, I'm, I'm not talking about uh, if you happen, you know it, clap your That's hands. That's not what I'm that talking is. about wow. teaching theater. Wow, Bob insulting people with music education degrees, Yeah. Bitch. Oh, well, let me turn right now. I would love to insult anyone with an arts degree. Arts degree, an arts degree is not even worth the paper That is not on. true, Bob. That what? is literally not true. Okay, when are I... we jumping right into this or are we going to? Well, okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh Let's just start off by saying um, today's topic is, edu- is education, Ooh. obviously. <laughs> and Monet is an Ivy League educated um, musician mm-hmm. with a uh, chart topping album. Oh my God! iTunes chart topping album. Yes, ma'am. Called oh, EP. Is, is that what EP? It's, it's an EP. It's not. It's not so an album, what, what, EP. What's the difference between an album and EP? EP is extended play. Miss, uh, since you're so educated, you got your fucking degree. <laughs> you, you fucking know everything. All right, Monique. Whoa, whoa, what's the difference between EP and album? An EP is extended play. An album that we show is 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 long is 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 um is an LP, which is long play. An EP is just ex- extended play, which is typically six or less songs. An album is six or more songs. Wait, so if it's exactly six songs, it can be whatever the fuck you want it to be. You just pick. Um, any mini money mo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if you have eight songs, it is a... Th- so what if some of those like little interludes... LB, that still counts as a track. No, if it's yes. like those little acting interludes... That's still, it's, if it's a track, it is it is part of your discography. That's shady. But that's not shady. 
Then you should have added some interludes and had an album. I don't want an album. I want an EP. Why though? What's what's the benefit of having an EP over having an album? Because I'd rather put out quality stuff that I'm really proud of as opposed to trying to get six tracks I can say, oh, I have an album. Like that doesn't that doesn't you that some, doesn't but that you doesn't have some quality that, uh, that some quality interludes. That does not make me calm. It doesn't excite me. I wanted to do it. But EPs EP. make you calm. They do. What's the last EP you came to? Can't. <laughs> um, 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 hers. Do, 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 you, do you listen to H.E.R.? No. She's an artist. Her name is Her. And she, like, she has like four EPs out. I mean, she is just a brilliant fucking... She's one of those people who plays every instrument. And she's just a brilliant lyricist. And her EPs are fucking dope. You know who's blowing up right now is Lizzo. It's... Oh, my God. Blame it on the goose. Not to blame it on my juice, baby. Also, she's like twerking and fluting. And she's... A, I didn't know she was a trained flautist. Again, someone who is... Um, went to school for music education. Look it up. Uh, that's that's fierce. So, uh, side fact: um, her H E R, she just won a Grammy, right? Yes. And her work. production team, which includes Max Morin, who recorded Purse First with us, won a Grammy for her work. For so her I have work. a Grammy. Yeah. So <laughs> we now have a Grammy. So I have a Grammy. If you have, uh, if you have an Emmy, I have a Grammy. Uh, the lovely um, the lovely woman who worked, who worked on my EP, um, who is the executive producer of my EP, Aritz Alaus. She um, she's she executive produced Whitney's album. Um, and also uh, uh, Jaheem. Were Which you, album? Were you, were, were you a big Jaheem? Which Whitney album? I don't know, one of them. It's one of her credits. Um, have you, were you a big Jaheem fan back in the day? N- absolutely not. What? Under no circumstances. You and I, T.Y. is no. all we need to eat. Oh my God, wow, Jaheem. I started singing Queen Latifah's You and I, T.Y. You and I, T.Y. That's my You and I, T.Y. Not Jaheem. Bob, you're not black if you did not like Jaheem. I, I don't think that's how being black works. It is. But um, it, was, I, it, 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 it was on the test. See, uh, the chest changed. I, I think right between, <laughs> there's a little age gap. Right when uh, I took the test, it was MC Hammer. MC ja Hammer. Rool, I love Ja Rule. And, uh, and uh, the Cash Money crew. Really quick, did you see the Fire Festival documents? Be- okay, did you see Ja Rule at a basketball game recently trying to get them pumped up? The audience was having none of it. He was because. like, he was like, are y'all ready? No, I didn't see and this. And then the audience didn't respond. He goes, he said, I said, are y'all ready? <laughs> And then no one's funny. He goes, I guess not. Gag. <laughs> look, can you look it up, please? And he the goes, fire well, fest. I guess not. I mean, and then the basketball team started playing basketball during his performance. Work. Because he's trash now. Oh, they let her Jaheim have is it. canceled. Yeah, that's that's clear. Oh, there it is right there. It is really hilarious. Um, but the Fire Festival document, um, the documentary is gag. Do you think that you and I could do a drag festival in the same way? I mean, you mean like by scamming Scam people? people? <laughs> Monet, what, this is not. This is not the producers. I don't want to scam anyone into the fucking. I mean, it was just so crazy. But then, I mean, but I mean, you had to, to admit the guy, the the white dude who's in charge of the whole thing. Yeah, he is fucking brilliant. I okay <laughs> to scam. A nation of people to do it. that in. I, I'm not saying that he probably isn't a smart person, but I can also scam people and 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 figure. He also, you know, what would make him brilliant if he got away with it. That would make him brilliant. He didn't get away with it. He fully got caught. They were suspicious the whole way through. But the thing is that he's one of those people. He's one of those con artists that. He's talking to you, bitch, and you are buying every single brick he's selling. But everybody wasn't buying it. Well, All they still the were going people, along, along the people with in there with him were like, "This is not working. This is but not." But they were still sense. doing it. He also scanned the entire island of the Bahamas. He, he had three hundred people working for free. Man, your uh, your uh, island That's goals are fierce. messy, honey. That's a fierce, man. That is fierce. Money. I don't know how to respond to what you're saying right now. I think it's, I'm not saying it's great. I'm just saying it's fierce. Well, there you have it. Uh, Monet uh, supports uh, the Fire Festival, dude. You, you guys, you heard it here on the uh, Rivalry <laughs> Podcast first. So I want to talk about. Okay, so let's talk about education. He went How, to school for music as well. Did he really? No. Oh, uh, he went to school with Lizzo. Uh, they were both in the theater education program <laughs> um, with the theater education class. Um, how far did you make it in school? I went all the way to uh, through undergrad. So I did. You um, have a bachelor's degree. I have a bachelor's degree. Yeah, in music education, opera performance. Um, bachelor's degree in music education, and what what does one do with a bachelor's degree besides drag? Music edu- what does one do with a bachelor's degree? Well, I was on track. I was um, teaching a lot of my friends who who got degrees in, in the same thing as well are teaching general music. What's her name? Yeah. The queen that we used to they used to work with who, who, who teaches kids who teaches Broadway kids. Just a minute. 
Yeah, yeah Jessa. Who, like, teaches Broadway kids how to sing. And, make, and she makes a great living doing that. It was, uh, um, yeah, so a lot of my friends do that. And I, I taught German music K-5 through for about a year and a half. And I oh, was I, like, I found the secret videos. Oh, yes, you did. Y'all don't know. There are these videos online of Monet Exchange teaching children <laughs> how to sing. Monet is in front of the whiteboard with her khakis in her shirt. She's like, all right, kids, now we'll go do a deer, a female deer. Your turn. Do. How did you find that? Jacob found it. How did these Jacob? Videos, why did Jacob, Jacob get on my shit? Jacob, can, Jacob is really good at the internet. When he sent me those videos, I was dying oh laughing. I saw for a year and a half. The fans are going to start tagging you on now, girl. <laughs> Don't take this out of the podcast. It's funny. It's just you teaching children. Uh, Isn't there a video of you two doing like a a, a crowd video? What are those old crowd crowd videos that people used to do? Well, like, like, like a like a like a like a flash mob. Yeah, flash mob. Don't you have? Isn't there a flash mob? It's on my computer. It's, it's not online. Oh. But, yeah, but y'all, y'all got to find Monet Exchange teaching the kids. It is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. I was also, like, literally 80 pounds a little heavier. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, so I did that for a year and a half, and I was like, I was so over waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning to teach New York City kids. I was like, I'm not doing this. And that's what I went Then I sang professionally for two years. And that was when you were in Portland. In Portland. Port- with Portland Opera. And I heard that you can't really do... From what I hear, I am not an opera singer. This may shock you. Um, but from what I understand, you can't do opera as a bass if you're, like, under 40. And you have to have a master's degree. That's not true. Um, a lot of people who do— But is that, like, kind of true or something? It's not kind I mean, a lot of the roles are for older men. That's what typically—because basses are very low voices. You're not going to see—you're not, not going to hear, like, a Rodolfo in um, La Boheme be a bass. Like, that's not cute because Rodolfo— Yeah, Rodolfo is a, is a tenor. He is a t- obviously. Rodolfo <laughs> is a tenor. It's more for like a French. He's tenor. almost a counter tenor. <laughs> okay, he's not a counter tenor at all. Oh, I said almost. Oh not my even god, close though. <laughs> I don't know anything. Uh, about a lot of the roles were based on like Zoroastros and Mephistopheles. Like oh, these, Mephistopheles is like Mephistopheles. Mes- well, yeah, I'm talking. About, I'm, I'm talking about Mephistopheles. <laughs> See, Mr. everyone Mr. always, <laughs> everyone gets Mesophocles and Mrs. Sophocles and Mr. Mesophocles mixed up all the time. <laughs> and esophagus. <laughs> and, and, and sarcophagus. <laughs> and ancient Mesopotamia. <laughs> anyway, because um, they're for older men. So you can't, so to, to be this young and beautiful and playing a Zarashtra, which is supposed to be like a father figure, is weird. So that's why lots of basses do work more when they're older and like they're like in like the mid-30s and older. Because you know our friend... By the way, I'm always kind of shocked when I find out someone has higher education degrees. You know Nick in our friend group has yeah. a master's degree. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And Jasmine Masters has a master's degree. Jasmine. Not Jasmine Masters. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine Masters doesn't even have an elementary degree. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> if that bitch graduated from middle school, I'll be shocked. <laughs> you cannot say that. Uh, I just did. What did she say on the first episode? Uh, Yo breath smell like you be eating ass hoes. <laughs> Isn't the gag that she was like, when she came back, they were like, would you do anything different? Would you try to prepare? She was like, no. <laughs> I'll goof up to my face. <laughs> anyway, but lots of people in music who go for higher education degrees, you're not necessarily going for the paper, but you're going to get the training that you would not get otherwise if you do not go to the schools like Manus or Juilliard. Mm-hmm. or Because if you don't go to the schools, then you cannot work with those teachers. So that's why you go to school to get a uh, to get a master's degree. And some people, I have a friend, friend friends who have doctorate degrees in opera performance because you're going, you're not going to I'm a dance paper. as a doctor. You're going to study the you know uh, yeah, I did. I'm a dance from who's been on, one of our first guests. Oh my god, he was on our second episode. Doctor Rigasera. He's a he's a he's a he, yeah. I didn't know Doctor Rigasera. He's a teaches, composer. He, yeah, he's a yeah. he teaches uh, music. And then again, so but when you get these degrees, and a lot of people who have higher education degrees in opera and music, they go on to be college professors and college teachers because you have doctorates and master's degrees that you would not be able to teach. But is that because you like? Now here's a question. This may sound shady. Are you becoming a teacher because you just like got sick of? Like, is you are you going to teach because you you couldn't sing anymore, um, or are you so becoming a teacher because you really wanted to teach? Like, like do are all opera singers just they just really want to be teachers, or is like people, I can't sing forever? It's just some people. If you can't, if you a you can't sing forever, those who can't do. You're right. I'm literally just about to say. And then, so what's the next best thing? Teaching people how to do the thing, the thing that I like to do a lot. So they is <laughs> Um, I uh, I have a high school diploma, and I got uh, three years of college, and then I dropped out of school. Why did you drop out of school? Okay, long story short, I was, so my first year of college, I was at Columbus State University, I was a theater education major, and this theater company came through and was auditioning us, and then 
I was the only person that got cast. So I went and I did that show. And I came back to school. And then I did another year. And then I got cast in another show. And I went away and I came back and I did another year. Actually, one of those gigs was also an in, a paid internship. So I was doing a year outside of my school as well. Mm. And um, then I realized at one point, I said, I am working with people who already have their degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm already doing the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. All I'm doing is racking up more bills that I may not be able to pay off. Mm -hmm. um, and I was paying for school out of pocket. I would go down to the fucking office, hand them my debit card. They would run it, and it would fucking smoke, and they would hand my shit back to me. <laughs> and that is how I was paying for school. Like they, I was literally paying with my debit card God. at the beginning of the semester for fucking school. God. Or I would get an emergency uh, loan, which we paid in three installments over the school year. So I was like scamming. Like, I, have to, I have to make $3,000 in the next two weeks. Gag. Anyway, so I would do, so I dropped out after three years because I was like, I just don't think that this theater degree is really going to help me in life. I think it's I think it's different from person to person to person. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. And, but on a If you're going to be a teacher, it will probably help you. Or, or, or I also think if you're going to end up getting a job where you have to have some degree, there are some jobs where, like you have to have a degree. They don't care what the fuck your degree is in. That is you true. You could literally be doing anything like, oh, you have an opera degree? Come work in our mail room. This is true. Very they don't bad. even make no sense. Is, but I think, in some, I can't speak for anything music theater on all that stuff I can't speak to that for, but for opera if you want to work at big opera houses and you want to work at um, Covent Garden um, Covent Garden in the UK if you want to work at the Met they want to see that you have gone through the training of getting a master's degree to in order to be because that proves on top of having a great voice that proves that you are using your voice properly and that you are worth because opera singers make fucking bank. Uh, um, the fucking Leontine Prices and Diana Dan Rouse, and um, they are making millions yeah, of dollars of course a year. you pick the biggest. I can say the thing about theater. The, the Patti okay. LuPone's, the, the, okay. um, the Idina Menzel's. Of course, the top actors are also all making bank, too. Okay, but, well, the base... But what I'm saying is, in the, I can't speak for opera, but in acting, you do not have to have a degree to be... An actor on Broadway, in films, in a student film. All you have to have a degree in theater to do is if you want to teach theater. If you want to teach theater, you have to have a degree to teach theater, but you do not need a degree to be a theater actor at all. I can all. agree with that. Opera is completely different. It is not. It's not the same at all. Even like and I base think that's level, a scam. it's not a scam because even because even because Bob because opera again is different. Like the way that first of all, you when you are an operatic singer, your voice. Just with age, it's like it's like a fucking wine. With age, it gets better, and you need to keep on going to school to find out how the, your ever changing voice. I think it gets better to a point, and then your voice, then you just get older, and your that's voice not true. Get better. Because you have people like Leontine Price, who is what uh, I think almost ninety. Can you see how old Leontine Price is? There's no and way her, she's alive. Yeah, she's still alive. Leontine Price is still alive. Yes, and she still sings like a motherfucking canary. That's but that's but that's all. I think that that now I'm gonna say this again. Ninety two. Ninety two. She's alive, right? But this is different. Yeah, she's still alive. But this is different things. Some people, no matter what happens, they lose their voices. And it's not because they're necessarily using their instrument wrong. Some people just end up. So Leontine Price just might. I used to uh, go to school with this girl who smoked cigarettes, stayed up late, That's and true. she just would never lose her voice. <laughs> Leontine Price might just be one of those girls but, who just doesn't lose her voice. No, but the rate of opera singers, you see, it is it is not it is not a weird thing. You see many opera singers, like a good, I don't know what the rate. So I, why I don't Maria Callas lose her voice. Maria Callas, I mean, she, again, I'm not saying every single one, but if you look at the ratio of opera singers who are really old who, and who are still singing very well, who are mm -hmm. still playing roles well into their 70s, 80s, it is a very, it is a very high rate of people. I, I'm, I'm sure. I have to take your word for it. Because, again, and, in, and I think that is attributed to Keep on. You see a lot of the opposite who go to school for years. It's almost like doctors. They go to school for years and years and years and years and years, and then throughout their life, as their voice is changing, they're learning how to maneuver their voice. But this is why I think it's a scam. What is the actual? What do you? If you just guess, we, we're literally just guessing. What percentage of people who go to school get a master's in opera actually become? professional opera singers. A lot who, of them do. Not necessarily big Leontine prices, but, but I mean, they're like working in... Their, like paying their bills. Oh, no. Girl, let me say, a lot of opera singers, you go to school and then you go to Europe and you work in the opera houses throughout you because unlike America, Europe, in Europe, opera houses are like movie theaters. People like go to them all the time. Like they're going to see a Friday night movie. Like, do, you think, is, do you think that most people with master's degrees in opera yes. are actually successful opera singers? The ones who go that far to get because a master's? everyone I know with a master's degree in opera... How None of them are opera. Two. 
Okay. And one hundred percent of them are not. But, but okay, okay, first of all, I again, I, I'm saying people who go as far to get master's degrees. Normally, if you're, I'm that, the only, I know three people who went. I know four people who went to school for opera. No, five, five or six people went to school for opera. Shaquita, who didn't finish. Jasmine Rice, okay, who's she, not, she, Jasmine, she, Jasmine Rice, who's not an opera singer. She is an opera singer. And Jasmine no, but, Rice, but she's, not a, she's not a she's not a successful opera singer. She's a successful drag queen who sings opera. Right, but Jas- Nick, but, but Nick that's Smith, what she wanted to do. Nick Smith is not a successful opera singer. But, it's, but Jasmine is still working in music. She, Nick but is that not. Nick is not. does not Nick make her not. a successful opera singer. Okay, I'm but, talking about like for example, when you are a, a theater major, we most have Jasmine Rice as a, as a as most a theater majors will not be successful actors. That's just the T. Okay, but I'm saying opera is different. If you are going to the length to get an op- to get a so master's or doctor's degree, most people you went to school with are successful yes. opera singers. Yes, if I go on well, my, you know what I mean by most, right? Yes, like more than half, yes. more than majority. If you if I go on my uh, on um Kevin Requiem on my other Facebook page, which is an, which is also a stage name. <laughs> My name has eight, eight <laughs> names. That's some hood bitch shit. No, because my mom was always like, do not. This is why I have two birthdays as far as internet knows. Because my mom would tell me, do not put your real birthday and real name online. Because that's how the government is going to get you. <laughs> oh, my God. Your mom is a conspiracy theorist. That is some black mama shit. Yeah, it is. That is a black parent shit. Uh, on my other Facebook page, like the majority of my friends are working in... Well, again, not all my friends went to school for opera, but the majority of my friends who got masters and doctor degrees are working successfully in music. And at, I just have a hard time believing that. Well, I want to see some hard numbers because well, every every other form of the arts. I mean, ballet, dance, theater, well, ballet, you a- in art, dance, you age out. Drawing, like. Uh, Illustrators, painters, and dance by age thirty, you literally just can't. The people will refuse to hire you. With, Opera is the exact you, opposite. You picked one. You can act till the day you're dead. Again, as but, long as you can lift your head upright and talk, you can act. But, you don't have to be able to talk to fucking act. Do all these people have have went to get like doctorates? A and, lot of them do. Yeah. Well, I need to see some receipts. But what I'm saying is, you can like. What is also outside of opera? I don't. I can't speak opera. In, in the world of acting, all they care about is can you fucking act. That's, That's not how opera all they is. care. Can you act or can you not fucking act? Opera, your degree means a lot. Your degree and the talent. Opera, they're not just looking at. They're looking. They're not looking at. You could. But I think it's a scam. You could be. The greatest. Just, all that should matter is can you see? You know, years ago, years ago, uh, I can't remember when, but you used to be able to be a lawyer without going to law school. All you have to do is prove that you know as much as people who went to law school. You took the bar, and if you passed the bar, you're a lawyer. That is now legal. That does not seem right to me. If I mean, you can prove, if you take the standardized test mm-hmm. and you prove that you know enough, you know all the standards and you know all the practices, you should be able to practice law. I agree with that, but um, that's different. That's something you, you could just study and learn. Whereas opera, the older that you're getting, you're learning, you're learning how to maneuver your voice properly and well, sing properly. Outside of opera, what I'm saying is, well, oh, okay, higher, higher education, education is a scam. Is the I agree with that. Second biggest scam. In I agree the with that. Of the world, I am so mad that I went today on the fourth. Uh, um, oh, lawyers. Four states, you can still become a lawyer. Yeah, California, Virginia, Vermont, and Washington. Your lawyer probably uh, studied at uh, DeVry. Well, also, Washington State <laughs> is just a horse of a girl. Washington State is honestly the weirdest state. Girl, Washington, <laughs> uh, Washington, Rachel Dolezal <laughs> State is really something else. I, I don't know where it's at. Um, speaking, yeah, of, speaking I, of Spokane, <laughs> I am so mad. Come on, speaking it is of Spokane, big, is no one going to uh, acknowledge how great that was? All right, no. I guess we'll just move on. Noriko is like, what are you talking about? Uh, I, I, I read her name. I knew her name. Uh, n- 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 Noriko <laughs> Okabe. Um, 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 yeah, I am. Because so, here's the thing: because you go to school and they're like, you need to go to, you need to, um, you're taught that you have to go to college right away, or yes. else you are wasting your, your life away. I, especially being a black kid, you're oh, taught, girl. Okay, I actually have a lot of internal guilt from not finishing school because I didn't really? want to be another uneducated black man. But also, they throw the word uneducated as if to insinuate that the only way to edu- to be educated is to be educated education. by the white white man or by what people deem higher education. If you don't go to college, you're uneducated, right. which I think is a way of shaming people who didn't finish school, couldn't finish school, or chose mm-hmm. not to finish school, yeah. and making them seem like they're less than, which I think is mad fucking shady. Yeah, I think it's, I, I, that I do agree with. I feel like, I honestly, I think everyone should take a gap year. Figure out what you want to do in your life. But then again, perhaps, but then, then here's my thing, though. If I didn't go straight to school, I don't think I would have discovered drag in the way I did, because how would of a drag was going to my peppermint. school. Peppermint. And Peppermint would come and do a drag ball in my school. And, and before that, I thought that drag was fucking girl. Drag was, and it was up and not until I met her and I was this close to this bitch. I was like, 
Oh, she's not really that scary. Maybe I like that too. What was your first drag name? Oh my god. Ferocia <laughs> Extreme. Ferocia Katura. <laughs> That was what it was for Rosha Katura. I still have a video. Of, I, so I've seen we, the video. Maybe we can post it to our... To our slew-footed. Uh, chunky. I was not slew-footed. Oh, okay, Mona, well, you are to this day slew-footed. <laughs> if you guys don't know what slew-footed means, when your feet like kind of curve in <laughs> oh and you're like, walking on the inside of your feet. I do not walk like that. Bitch, what you walk like? The day like, of Snorlax? Like, a, like, a, like Naomi Campbell. <laughs> when you were drunk at 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, like Vivacious on episode one of season uh, six. <laughs> she gave an episode. Episode two and episode one. Oh, whatever. She was the second group. Um, do you do, really quick? Do, I, I feel like Jaguar should do another stunt like that. Something fun. They have got to change things up. It's getting too boring. Uh, they just changed it up. <laughs> I don't know if you remember oh, the double. No, no, I mean something else. <laughs> I in thought season. every time they change it up, people were like don't. They, like everyone, everyone's, everyone's like we wanted a twist. Then don't they get you a twist. agree that the stale for the regular seasons? The formula is a little stale. Yeah, the formula is is getting a little, but it's also a little tried and true. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a, it's a little bit of if it ain't, if it ain't broke. It is broke. We're getting. I'm getting a little bored. I would but like the ratings changed. aren't going down. So what's your proof that it's broke? No, there is. Did you not, girl? Did you not see? Um, oh, girl, the fans on All Stars Four they were shady. Every episode they were putting the. Uh, they were. Putting, but also bear in mind that the ep- that the ratings for All Stars have not always different. correlated to the ratings from the RuPaul's Drag Race. So. All True. Stars is not as popular as RuPaul's Drag Race. True. Uh, True. So I don't think it's a. I don't think you can you can judge a show based off of its spinoff. You know what I mean? It's also like like RuPaul's Drag Race wins Emmy. Hey, Joe Harris, call me. Can, can we call him for the speaker really quick? And you probably shouldn't. That was uneventful. You know, she always goes, uh, "That's Cameron's catchphrase." Hi, hello, how are you? Oh my God, I love that. Do you yeah. know what? Do, do you know why she does it? No clue. Because she, because they said she didn't say hi to someone. In, in 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 the reunion when we when we all said, "Bitch, you don't talk to nobody," and I was in the back like. Um, and we say that you don't say hi, you enter the room and say hi. So now she says three things so that you can't miss it. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> that is funny. She's in all of the videos. Hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> but yeah, I just think that um, I don't know. I, I think that higher education and, and if you can, like, I mean, bitch, you can't be a fucking yoga instructor unless you fucking get certified. Like, unless you go to school for it. Like, I think if you can prove that you know all the standards and practices that yeah. we have deemed as a society that keep you safe in this particular field, then you should be able to do it. Yes and no, because in terms of, like, let's say cosmetology school and, like, and a hair colorist, yeah, you might I, I, you might take this wig and you might turn it out this one time, but proving that you've done 800 hours or whatever is showing that you are consistently doing this thing. It wasn't a fluke. But I feel if like that's, you take the standards that. and practices, meaning... You can study a test and pass anything. You know what I'm saying? And Also, you can take 800 hours and fuck up someone's head. It happens all the time. If you take the standards and practices, that is a way of showing you know how to be safe but while I doing what you're doing. I think that showing that you have logged these hours, showing that you're at least... Maybe you might fuck it up in the future, but that's a, you can, that, that happens regardless. But the point of standards and practices is to make sure you don't do that. You you put everything in the standards and practices test to make sure that you're not going to fuck up anyone's head. That's the point of that test. But putting in the hours and the time shows that you are consistently doing this. You can study for the test and do it. Well. So you study for the standardized test and you pass and you get 100%. You you know how to color hair and you do it one time great on a dummy. Great, you're good. You're solid. But then when you have completed 800 hours, that means you're consistently doing it But all also that because time. you did not go to school doesn't mean you didn't do 800 hours. I'm not you're saying just that. Assuming. But there but I but knowing that you, but completing the school is they, they're monitoring monitoring that you have done this. You can I can say that I've been coloring. I, but I'm I, saying, I can say that I've been. That, I, I've been, I've been wait, can I can I say kind of go ahead. Point? I can say that I've been styling and coloring wigs for a thousand hours, and, and, and I and I passed the test because I know how to do all of the steps right. And you're like Monet, you said you did a thousand hours. You can color this wig correctly in front of me. I believe you. Here's your stamp. Go do it for the rest of the world to see. It. But if you if you if you have to log in those hours every week and and you're proving that you are doing this all the time, consistently doing it, then that's showing that you are actually doing this thing and you are studying and you can do it successfully and you have been logging the hours you have been doing it. But also, if you took the standards and practice that proves you already know it, you're not going to fuck up someone's head because you know the proper steps. But and also, when you go to college, it's not just like you writing on a paper. You have to show that you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You have to like do it. Then I just be like, well, we, you said you could do it. Well, okay, not only you have to like college, actually I'm show that you can do it. Like being, yoga, to becoming a masseuse and all yeah. that stuff. Again, be, becoming a masseuse, you can fuck somebody up royally if you do not know what and you're you doing. And you can do it. 
as and people can fuck you up who've been who but you are hours. less likely to do it if you have been consistently you're assuming no that's just that's just fact you are less likely to fuck like you well, are, what fact is that based what, what is that based off of what do you mean what is that based off you of you said it's a fact but just so in how, life when you do something consistent over a period of time you, you, you're way less likely to like if I have been styling wigs for two years um, and you've been styling for one day but you but you have proven that you know how to do it I'm way less like I'm, I'm way more likely to give you a successful wig than you are that's not necessarily true, Monet. Am you I are, crazy? You Mitch, are crazy. Am I crazy? This is why you're crazy. You're ba- for example, I know DJs who have been DJing for years, years. They show up and fuck up an entire place's sound system, fuck up all of equal, and they have been DJing for years. I'm not saying this doesn't happen, but listen. You, uh-huh. And then someone new comes in, and they're like, "Oh, I can fix it," and they don't fuck it up. So what you're saying doesn't. Scan. I'm not saying that. Uh, someone whose experience can't fuck it up. I'm just saying they're less likely. Mitch, am I crazy? But I want somebody to weigh in on this because I feel like I'm talking to. I what I'm saying is, if you are following these standards and practices, you know how not to fuck it up. Yeah. And also, you are you have but more experience means that you are less likely. Not to fuck it up. always. Mitch, if someone yeah, has Mitch, been doing, you can be doing. For example, here's an example, and I'm not even trying to be funny. I've been doing makeup longer than you. You're better than I am. So just because I've logged way more hours than you, I have logged. And by the way, you could have been telling jokes since third grade. I'm still better than you. That, just, okay, now do we I'm approve just, that? That's not true. Also, by the way, just read the comments. They all say Bob is funny. I don't. That is not true. You. They all do. That is not true. I don't want to embarrass you. But if you are naturally good at something, then that is more. That that is that actually has more to do. If I could have been practicing singing forever, but if you're just a better singer than me, you're just a better singer than me. But Bob, we're not talking about singing and art and stuff like that. We're talking about things yes, we like... Are. We just Mitch, about Mitch, is, Mitch, is, Mitch is trying to say a point. I mean, I think there's something to be said about the having a certification when it comes to having logged hours. Like, I think knowing that somebody has gone through rigorous training and knowing that they know every facet of something, but if they can prove it through taking a standardized test, then I understand, but I do think that there's more of an, uh, an accolade that comes with Having gone to school, and I think that accolade goes along with the what am I? What's what I'm looking for? The mindset that we have that because you are educated, you know more than people who are not educated, I'm who not, are uneducated. I'm not saying that I'm. We're, <laughs> But your your wig is full. It is hot as sin. (laughs) I am (laughs) schmelting. So we have to. We have to. to, uh, Well, well, um, siblings, y'all chime in. What do you guys say? They are all brain. Not all. I know that. But a lot of people in America are brainwashed at the idea that if you are not formally educated, you don't know as much as someone who was not formally educated. Um, Um, So that's so that's what I'm getting at. I think that I do think. And again, I agree with you that education is a form of brainwashing. So making people believe that they have to go to school immediately after they graduate. and also, if you I pass, bullshit. also if you pass a standardized test and you did the testing and the stuff, chances are you actually have logged hours. You actually do know what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but you I'm probably didn't cram the, the night before. Doing the groundwork of but you walk pro- of, of, of waking of, of getting up out of bed. What, what, what you I get up out of bed. I put on my clothes. I got bills to pay. Go ahead, Let me ask you a question, then, Bob. Do you want? Okay, let's say you're taking a flight from New York to LA. Mm-hmm. Do you want a pilot who? Um, I put. Has, I'm gonna. I'm, I already know what you want to say. The other day. Let me finish it for the uh, viewer. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'll let him finish. I be knowing. Do you want a pilot <laughs> who has a hobby of flying and 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 is really really good at it, or do you want somebody who you know went to school? What I want. Passed? What I want is a pilot who is certified, who has passed standards and practices. That's what I want. I want a pilot who is certified, who knows how to fly a plane, and has passed standards and practice. The other day, I went on my plane, and there was a guy, I swear to you, this pilot looked like he was 18 years old. He clearly wasn't, because he was flying a plane. I looked at him, I was like, I cannot believe this guy is about to fly my plane. It does not make me more comfortable, because there's an old man flying my plane. This but, guy, okay, wait, let me, man. I let y'all, this yeah. guy apparently knows how to fly a plane. He has passed standards and practices. He took a flying test. He knows how to fly a plane. I'm just, okay, we're not, so we're not, we're not necessarily that answer, age. I answered the question. And does that not sound fair what I just said? Okay, well, we're different because I So you would, don't want the, you don't, you don't I want. I would prefer someone who I know, a Jack who I know has been, has been, has been flying planes for the past five years as opposed to Bob, uh, for, uh, to Ryan, who has been flying, who this is his first flight. He just graduated. But you're but not, let me, let me finish. Go. Ryan, who just, who just graduated pilot school yesterday. He passed all the tests and all that stuff. I would feel more comfortable knowing that Jack has been doing it for five years as opposed to Ryan. 
Ryan, who just graduated yesterday, and he passed all the tests with flying colors, valedictorian. I would. But you know, yeah, but you know, in the scenario you're saying, Ryan can still today fly your plane. If he passes flying school, I know. You have, you have, wait, let me, well, I let you, I let you, you can, so you probably have flown with Ryan because, but that does not mean Ryan does not now not get to work as a pilot. He did everything he had to do to be a pilot. So you don't always get the best, you don't always get the senior pilot who's retiring tomorrow. Sometimes you get the guy who just started work yesterday. We know. But that guy has taken standards and practices. He he has logged the hours and he knows how to fly a plane. We never said that he can't. I'm just saying I'll feel more comfortable in the with <laughs> I'm sweating. I need <laughs> give me a paper towel. I am dying. <laughs> but yeah, so th so that's what so oh, we're not talking about that. We're so not yeah, saying that Ryan can't do it. We're talking about comfortability and where that comes with logging in hours is that but the degree of be of comfort knowing that Miss Singer's in the Fire as opposed to Miss Singer. I'm not saying I'm Ryan not, probably, I'm not saying Ryan could be the you? greatest pilot that ever and but listen, Mo, I'm not saying who would you rather have? What I'm saying is, is Ryan allowed to fly? Should he be allowed to fly? Yeah, we we've established it's a yes that, or no. We've established it's that. A yes we, or no. we established that. We it's said a yes, yes or no. We, but we're talking about this is the. But is it yes or no? I said yes. We established we that. But so what Ryan we're saying, should be able to fly people. We, but what we're saying is, what we 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 all agreed on that before. I don't know why you. Where so, are you coming so, from? So, we're talking about comfortability and what that comes wants, with logging hours. How that makes people more comfortable to do a job when you know that you have committed the time to it. We're not saying that the person can do it. We said if you study the test, you pass. Great, good. But we're saying where the hours comes in. I'm literally talking away from the mic. Sorry. Where the hours. I'm she's like, I'm she's, like, what? What? Else she's, monitor <laughs> she's monitoring. She's uh, monitoring. What we're trying to say? <laughs> what we're trying to say? I'm melting. <laughs> melting. Melting. <laughs> what is where that comes in. in I, I don't think. This Wait, we need to take a break. We need to. Take, let's just take a short break. Hi guys. If you love our podcast and you would like to help support our production and gain access to exclusive content on Patreon, you can do just that. When you pledge a monthly payment of your choosing, you'll gain access to exclusive behind-the-scenes content that isn't available anywhere else. The more pledges we get, the more we will be able to dedicate our time to creating more sibling rivalry content. It's a win-win. We have three tiers for you to choose from to pledge your monthly donation. For our first tier, you can pledge $1 a month and you become a stranger. For this price, you gain the knowledge that you have supported us. <laughs> Appreciate that. For $5 a month, the next tier is a cousin. You're not one of our siblings but we're totally related. You have access to our locked feed and get to see exclusive content and behind the scenes footage. You'll also be supporting the continuation of Sibling Rivalry. Yeah, cuz you can come to the cookout, but don't come to my house. <laughs> With your shoes on. Your shoe Take your shoes off! Take your fucking shoes off! And our last tier is Sibling. For $10 a month, you came from the same pussy as us. You are one of our siblings. You have access to our locked feed to see exclusive content and behind the scenes footage. Footage is Footage is And you are a huge supporter in the continuation of sibling rivalry. If you do not support us, we assume you're racist. Oh, uh, not assume. I, I know. Bet you be, I bet you be watching uh, Tricks and Katya. I bet you watch uh, uh, Vol Whimsically Vol Whimsically Volatile. Uh, uh, I, I, bet you, chase I bet you subscribe to Race Chaser uh -huh. with your white asses. <laughs> you know what? In fact, if you white, you need to be a sibling. All black folks can do $5. All white motherfuckers need to subscribe more. <laughs> Stop, you're scared of people. Okay, you're right. We'll see you guys next time, and we love you. Bye. All right, peace, guys. Yeah, it's just comfortability. Yes, if you studied and passed standards and practices, you absolutely should be to the job. We're talking about why we thought hours are instituted is to is to sh guarantee that you do know what you're doing. So I do think that our table looks messy as hell. I'm melting. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> we keep it up with these. Yeah, we okay. So we got to move on. <laughs> we are so off base. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's talk about private schools ver and like in magnet schools versus regular old public schools, regular PS yes. one thirteen. Well, I don't, what is a magnet school? A magnet school is a public school. It's not. It doesn't have to be a public school, but they're often public schools that specialize in a certain field. For example, is LaGuardia a private school? Yeah, it's, no, private. No, it's a public, public. That's a magnet school. Right, because, it's because a you have to audition to get in. Because it. it's a performance art school. You have to audition to get in. Yeah, you can't that's, just walk up in there and say, I'm going there. Right, that's a that's a magnet school. So my school is a magnet school? Pro more than if you went to a performance art school, you went to a magnet school. You never school. called it a magnet school. It's a magnet school, man. I don't know what to tell you. Can you look can you look at the definition of magnet schools, please? Magnet? You yeah, magnet school. I think it's about where where your main focus is on one specific thing. Te there's technology magnet schools, there's a lot of different magnet schools. Work. A public school offering special instruction and programs not available elsewhere designed to attract a more diverse student body from throughout a school district. I thought magnet schools were like for like smart kids. 
Well, they're for kids who are want to focus on technology, want to focus on Music. fitness, want to focus on acting, want to focus on movie. They're well, usually performance art magnet schools, usually. And there's also some technology magnet schools, too. Yeah, and Brooklyn, I, Brooklyn Tech is a magnet school. Also, people, like, actually, like, do private schools in New York. In the oh, South, yeah. everyone goes to public school. Everyone. Really? Everyone goes to public school. Well, I went to... Except, like, Catholic schools and, like... I grew up in St. Lucia, so I went to primary school in St. Lucia, which is... Public school? It is it is a public school, but it's very privately ran and organized. If that makes sense. It does. Like corp, like corporal punishment was a very was a very big. Thing. Oh, that's what was punishment in, in but, Mississippi when I went in public school. Really? Yeah. You see, they we had a kid named uh, what was his name uh, Todd or John Wayne. John Wayne. No, I can't. Remember. Michael Todd. Michael Todd. And Michael Todd, we, we, the teacher would have forced him to take a bath every day. She go. She go. Michael Todd, you stink. And she would hand him a bucket and make him go and shower and put what on cologne. What the fucking and we used to get ass. And we used to get whippings in school from the teacher and from the principal. Yeah, I, in Mississippi, when I was in school. Not my mom, when I was in elementary school in Mississippi. Um, yeah, I um, and I used to get beat in elementary, in, in, what they call it, so they have, in, in St. What? Lucia is primary school, secondary school. Um, Third and um, dairy school. It would, it would be tertiary, but whatever. Um, uh, I didn't go to. Uh, I didn't graduate college, so I don't know. What do I know? I'll, I'd just be talking good sometimes. <laughs> um, um, I would get beat because so they would let us go to recess. And as you know, I'm a, I'm a sweaty human being, and I would run around and play with all the kids. But when I would come back in my in my fucking uniform, green pants, and like these khaki shirts, and when I would get back from recess, I would be soaking wet, and they would beat me because I was sweating. They were like, don't go out and get so wet and sweaty. And they would like be like, take a ruler and like fuck my legs up. Yo, sweaty, wet legs. Sweaty, wet legs. Why didn't you just sit in the shadows? Because I wanted to play and run around. So you 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 thought the beat was worth it? No, I mean, in my when you were, I was in what? This is um a, a grade one or two. I'm like, I, I was know. a very critical thinker by third by second grade. <laughs> I was like, I'm really thinking critically about this. I need to really weigh the pros and the cons. I need to find out if this is worth it. I don't think I knew, but it was like, okay. I'm like, that's, by the way, for the record, that's bad. That's not bad. I think that's great. Beating sweaty kids for getting sweaty. Oh, no, sweaty. no, no, no. no. I, I, I thought you meant I'm um, being a critical thinker at a young, young age. No, no, no. Um, but, I mean, I was like, do I sit my fat ass in the shade or do I jump my fat ass up and run with my friends? Fuck that shit. All right, does the school you go to matter? Like elementary school? No, like the no. Well, I mean, uh, private school. If you go to a private school, does that matter more than going to a public school? If you go to an Ivy League school, does that matter more than going to a I don't uh, community think so. college? I mean, I don't think so. I feel like school is school is school is school. We yeah. have two people in this room who are Ivy League educated. Who? Two people. We have uh, Cheyenne who went to Columbia. Oh, work! I don't know you went to Columbia, Cheyenne. Oh, work! Just don't be listening. Um, just like you don't know um, <laughs> Noriko's name. Um, okay, I don't have your name right now. Um, <laughs> And uh, and you went to the Princeton Community School College. I went to Winchester Choir College. Is it like Princeton's music school or something? It is the not is it's a music school. In, yes, in Princeton. Well, is it is it Princeton or is it not Princeton? It is. That's what I said. But you you're trying to be funny and say that. Oh, I was not doing anything. I said you went to Princeton Music School. Also, the reason you're hot, keep on flipping your hair back and forth. I'm not trying to be funny, but oh, those yuck yucks where I say you went to uh, Ivy League school. I really burned you there, Monet. It is a music. Westminster Choir College is the music school of Princeton. That's why I said the Princeton Music School. I literally said the Princeton Music School. You said the music school of Princeton. I said the Princeton Music School. And you think I'm doing yuck yucks? I don't understand you. I don't understand you. What is that? I said you went to the Princeton Music School. You go, you're trying to be funny. I didn't go to the Princeton Music School. I went to the Music School of Princeton. You also said it while you were flicking your hair and being extra. Because it's hot, Monet. <laughs> we have we have uh, covered that I am sweatier than you <laughs> at recess in St. Lucia. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a state college. I went to Columbus State University, which was free. But oh, isn't that something you absolutely said? not you free? Said about Georgia has free. Okay, well, here's a, okay. We're we're jumping all over the place. It was about free education. Do you think America can do free education? If, I think yes, because it, yes. Georgia has free education. If and also if other countries can do it, why the what the fuck is wrong with us? We can't do it. Well, that that doesn't necessarily work because 
if you consider for some 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 points are like, well, Canada can do this. Why can't America? Okay, first of all, Canada has literally ten percent the population of America. So you cannot be like that lady has one kid. How come that lady with ten kids can't do the same thing as lady with one kid? Because she has ten more kids, and also they don't even use half their country. They don't use like two thirds of the country. It's all this just frozen true. land. We're using shit from fucking sea to shining sea. <laughs> you know what I mean? People live in the mountains up in this motherfucker. <laughs> Folks live in the mountains. People live in the fucking sun. Subway. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen the damn Subway Mall people, man? They live up all the way to the fucking bottom, girl. So it's a lot more to manage here. But um, it's so injury. If you don't know, I don't even know if it still is a thing. Maybe you can look it up. Uh, the Hope Scholarship. Can you look it up, Mitch? The Hope Scholarship is a thing in Georgia. It's paid for by the Georgia Lottery. Mm-hmm. And if you maintain a B average or higher while you are in high school, then you go to any state college for four years. For free. They do not cover your room and board. Did you get the Hope Scholarship? No. Oh. I was a terrible student. I've always been a bad student. I had Pell Grant, and then I paid out of pocket. Would you, do you see yourself going back to school ever? Under, like? no. N- okay, that's not true. I actually kind of want to go back to school for uh, costume construction and design. I know that sounds crazy, but I actually, you know how much crazy. I used to love doing costumes in my apartment and sewing and stuff? Um, Against your will. Also, you should not sit like that, girl. You're giving yourself a baby. <laughs> You were just fully like, <laughs> but I'm falling apart. <laughs> I got hair on my lip and shit. <laughs> Give me up in this country, motherfucker. Bugs flying in my mouth and shit. I can't stand this country, motherfucker. <laughs> I wish I did video. Are you gonna be, I showed it to you. Absolutely not. That's from Georgia, girl. That's an old Georgia video, girl. Uh, back in the day. But anyway, um, so what I'm saying is, also I gotta take this to the <laughs> We we are. <laughs> Still around the whole scholarship. Wait, we are so hot. We are not, <laughs> these are warm as hell. <laughs> They're so warm. Wait, listen, for those of you who are listening, that's a titty. Um, <laughs> so the Hope Scholarship is for anyone who maintains a B average or higher in the state of Georgia. You go to uh, college for free in a state college. You have to go in state. Oh, hell no. Um, oh, Georgia, Georgia Tech. Georgia has some, Georgia State, Georgia, Georgia has great colleges. Is, Georgia, that, is, is Georgia the Gator place? No, that's Florida. Florida, the Florida the Gators. Florida Gators, yeah. Right. What is it? What is y'all? Georgia mascot? Tech is the Hornets. Georgia the Hornets. Hornets. Z- z- um, that's a B. No. Georgia State. They're the Bulldogs. Go dogs. Right. The Bulldogs. Alabama. Can, has can I say two you, big schools. I lived in Georgia. I lived in Georgia for years. You'll never let me forget it. In Gwinnett County, and I remember one time when uh, my family we were driving past downtown, and we drive past a club called Bulldogs, like a, a oh gay the Bulldog. Club. And I remember the thinking in my head like, oh my god, I want to go to that place one day. With, like, a gay bar. But I, of course, to, I was, like, scared. I didn't say anything. Well, I got my ID taken from me at the Bulldog when I was 21 years old because I tried to sneak up a friend in with my ID. And I also, uh, the Bulldog uh, doesn't exist anymore, so you missed your chance. Damn it. All right, um, so I think we, I mean, we, 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 there's still a lot to talk about, but we, we'll, we'll figure it out. We will. We'll talk, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Edu- I mean, education is one of those things that's constantly yeah, for sure. um, growing and changing. And my, my opinion of education has evolved. I'm sure it will in the future podcasts. All right, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we we had we wrap it up, wrap it up. All right, love you, sis. Love you.